Hello, I'm Media World, and welcome to my review for Frankenstein's Army. This is the latest found footage movie, and I gotta say, this is quite an original concept, it's quite an interesting idea. It's basically Silent Hill meets Dead Snow, if you know those two movies. Quite a mad film, but very, very enjoyable. So, let's talk about Frankenstein's Army. Why did you break up the Frankenstein's Army is the latest found footage movie set within the uh, kind of World War II era. It follows a bunch of Russian soldiers that are hunting down Nazis and they come across this kind of abandoned, mysterious place. They're full of bodies everywhere and they go inside and they find these kind of really uh, disgusting, you know, horrible creatures, monsters. And basically, it just once that happens, it just goes into a sane roller coaster ride from there on. It's basically trying to find Dr. Frankenstein, a uh, someone that is creating, uh, you know, these creatures, these monsters out of, you know, where dead flesh, dead, uh, dead bodies, and just making some twist up designs for the Nazis. It's just a really mad concept, but it just works incredibly, incredibly well. Pretty fucking awesome, in all fairness. Now, as far as I found footage movie goes, it's actually a pretty enjoyable movie. Uh, it's visually interesting from start to finish, uh, especially when the monsters start to appear up. You just want to stare at the actual screen because the actual creature designs are very interesting from the, the helmet design from, from basically top from bottwards. Uh, you know, there's so many different uh, creatures, there's so many different monsters. It's unbelievable. Uh, it's very interesting look on the screen and this is the location design is very interesting uh, but definitely director and the, the writer had a budget definitely for this movie and you can definitely tell he spent it wisely and he definitely made this kind of like steampunk kind of uh, uh, World War II universe in a sense with this kind of mad scientist making these monsters and it's actually it's pretty fun it's a pretty fun ride if you're a fan of violent movies, definitely you're going to enjoy this movie for sure in terms of what it offers you. There's like one creature that has like a screwdriver uh, you know, attached to a helmet and yeah, you, can just, you get to see that, yeah, and they're going through someone's head. It's very enjoyable, very satisfying and it's not like, you know, one monster appears up and you don't see it for like a good half of the movie again or there's no sh creepy shadows or anything along those lines. Basically, once the monster turns up, that's it, you're gonna find loads of them They're everywhere pretty much. And the actual monster designs themselves are very visually interesting on screen. Uh, there's definitely a variety of different creatures and uh, monster designs, uh, so you're definitely not gonna get the same point over and over again. There's definitely a, a variety here uh, from like one that has kind of, um, I don't know, uh, crab like arms in a sense, another one that has like a, a monster shutter basically for his head, uh, another one's got a robot, kind of Nazi soldier thing, whatever, and it's just like, you know, this is mad. And you get to see these different kind of creature and different kind of designs while during action scenes, while guns going off and grenades left, right and centre, while at the same time having this kind of rough kind of found footage feel. And it's not like you don't get to see anything, you get to see literally everything pretty much. Uh, it's very believable in the camera work in terms of how the camera guy, you know, drops this, let's go picks it up kind of thing. Uh, there's definitely some people that get like, you know, slaughtered in a sense or get dragged away. And the camera work feels very realistic in terms of just, from what it is anyway, from a personal situation. You know, there's a, bit, there's a couple of times where it's like deliberately, you know, documenting the movie. But the movie is not like a survival horror. It's more documenting the events that are happening. You know, the first opening of the movie, is very kind of you know propaganda type thing you know trying to you know see, see the Russian soldiers in a good light you know and them marching them helping a, a local citizen you know going, kind of thing like that and it's just very kind of staged in some of the aspects of it but it later turns into kind of, kind of like documenting these entire events you know just when the monsters appear up just record everything when the Dr Frankenstein meets up later on you just document everything just to basically give back to the person that is watching it over in Russia and the actual camera work itself is very kind of unbelievable for its time it's between the HD picture you know for us audience or us people watching it but it's actually uh, done in this kind of very old kind of you know a uh, wind up camera like they had back in the olden days back in the uh, you know 40s 50s kind of thing and um, yeah they have a microphone they have like a, a lens set up it's actually quite clever how they actually show that on screen they actually address that there's an interview scene where they're saying like is that a microphone that's brand new I didn't see that in the camera before so they're, they're addressing all these facts like you know with the zoom in and when they actually just zoom in the actual lens does it makes like kind of flicker you know blackout sound which actually shows that he's you know, zooming in to change the lens or you know when the camera gets lensed again it's like cuts off to black and believable camera work in a sense and the couch in this movie I did a pretty decent job not too bad I mean there's only four characters that I would say uh, shine the most the rest with their period of the body count uh, some characters just kind of vanished uh, during some of the scenes you know this if I the movie there's kind of like these little blackout scenes of the you know changing the camera uh, film or switching between a different camera and during those scenes something happened we don't know quite we don't know what happened exactly some characters definitely did 
disappear and some definitely got killed off screen or we didn't know what happened to them later on. We're not exactly watching this movie mainly for the actual actors watching it for the monsters and the kind of the, uh, the gore and the, you know, the fun factor of it really of it. So overall Frankenstein's Army is a really over the top, really fun, just mad uh, movie, found footage movie that just you know uh, visually interesting, has some pretty decent characters, uh, some fantastic monster designs that you're going to keep your eyes glued on. It's like whoa, uh, definitely worth the second watch, definitely worth buying, owning and uh, the people that don't like found footage I think you might actually appreciate this one it actually is definitely offers you a lot more than uh, other found footage movies does and for people that like you know Frankenstein those kind of classic old movies I definitely want you to go and check it out you might actually appreciate what they're doing with this movie and the kind of the elements of it and the idea of it is quite clever there's been rumors of a sequel recently saying you know Dracula's army which actually could be quite interesting if they did go in that direction but we'll see what happens so there you go this has been my review for Frankenstein's army if you enjoyed watching this video uh, if you see the movie, what you do think do you think it was good do you think it was bad Leave your opinions, comment down below. So meet them and you're familiar from them to me.